In this section, I'd like to talk to you about some of the power in the ICP X7000 panel, namely some of the programmability that you can customize to your needs. First, let's start with the transition module. Traditionally, laid out with backgrounds, keyers, transition uh, choices, most every one of these buttons is programmable on the ICP panel. I can easily go to ENG setup panel, because I'm configuring the panel, configure, and link program button. Now I have different modules on the switcher. If I go down to the transition module one, I can choose my ME. So yes, each ME can be programmed differently. And I can go to the program preset where I'm working. And you can see I have backgrounds, all my keys. I can choose a button and I can choose to take that button and program, program it with different functions. Let's say I've got my switcher set up, so I only have four keyers per ME. Well, then the key five button right here can just be cleared out. Key six, key seven, key eight. Now they won't even light up. Or I can choose to use those for different functions. If I go down past the keyers, I can uh, do a non-additive mix there or a color mix or move my white button up. How about clip, frame memory clip three and four can be set into there. I can do normal, normal, reverse buttons. So now I can say I'm going to put my normal there, normal reverse there, and my reverse button there for my wipes. And I've just customized that panel to my uses given that I'm running this ME with only four keyers, which is another feature. So if I go back, I can easily change those back to be key five, key six, and key seven. Because I happen to have eight keyers. And you can see just how easily that program happens. I also have buttons down here. That's normally where I would have normal, normal reverse. Those went blank because I chose them and moved them around. So let's go back and find those and put them right back in. Normal, normal reverse, and reverse that way. Same thing happens over on my key transition area. I program these buttons in, if I go back one menu, Transition module two, transition module one, transition module two. And you can see now I have two banks for the, my four keyers. My lower bank is key one on and key auto trans. I can choose any sources that I want in the key row bus for transitions on those. What if I wanted to have a key five through eight down below and one through four at the top because one through four are always on and I don't touch them as much so I could move those down. So there's an example of I could say program preset Key one, key two, key three, and key four. And then down here is where I want key five, key six, key seven, and key eight. Now this is key one, turn it off. Let's say I operate my show, key one, two, and three are kind of always on, right? Key one and two always on. Five and six, seven, and eight are the ones that I'm always taking in and out, so I want those closer to the bottom of the screen. I just customized my uh, panel to do that. Let's take it back to default. One button hit, I'm back to default. Again, another example would be if I'm running this ME in four keyer mode. Keys five, six, seven, and eight, I don't have those. So again, I can easily highlight those and clear them out. And I don't have anything in that button, so I can't make a mistake and turn something on that might cause black, as you just saw with key three, um, to go through. So there's the, some of the power and programmability of the uh, transition module. And again, each transition module can be programmed a little bit differently if you want, or exactly the same. One of the most powerful new features of the ICPX 7000 panel is what we call a crosspoint pad. It's at the end of the crosspoint row. Traditionally, we would have hard buttons here on a switcher. There'd be re-entry buttons, crosspoint hold buttons, some macro attachment buttons, key row bus buttons. We've taken all those hard buttons and we've given you all that functionality, but we've incorporated into a, uh, a pad that can give me 14 pages of 15 programmable buttons per page. So now I can expand my horizons. I can customize the operation of the crosspoint pad to my specific use. You can see now here, I have two types of buttons. There's black buttons with white fonts those are status buttons. This is just telling me that program preset main is the uh, ME I'm on. And then there's different types of buttons, blue with white letters. Blue with white letters are what we call action buttons. Those are actions that I can turn on and off. Cross point hold on the A bus, cross point hold on the B bus, macro attachment enable. 
um, utility bus to route my utility one and two buses. The other thing that we have that's very unique is my row one. In this button, I have row one status assigned. Right now, my row one is, is routing key one. If I were to touch that button, we actually gave you a page that you jump to. It happens to be page two. Page two is row one delegates. I program page two with anything I want to be able to route with row one. So right now it's key one. I could go key two and I could route key two on the row one panel. I could go key three and route key three now. I can do DME utilities or my utility one and two bus of the ME all right here. I could route up to 14 destinations on just row one doing this. I can go back to key one. I hit the home page, jump back to my home page. The home page can be programmed to be any page you want as an operator. So if you were to split your 14 pages up between operators, somebody else can have a different home page number. So when they hit home, it goes to someplace else. The other nice thing about the status buttons, again, here's my row two. I jump to another page that's my row two delegate page, and I could choose any keyer that I want to route, or I can, again, have some variables with utility buses or DME pages. So I can go back to row two there and come back to jump. Now that we've seen some of the functions of the buttons in the cross point pad, how do we program those buttons? Let's take a look at the menu. ENG setup panel, operation, cross point module operation. I'm going to choose my ME. Because again, each cross point pad can be different or the same on each ME. Depending on what you're going to use the ME for, you might want to customize your pad. I'm going to go to cross point pad button assign. I'm going to choose, again, program preset. Choose that mi middle button right there. I'm going to clear it out. And I'm going to clear out the button right next to it. And then I'm going to come down to, in the 59s and 60s, and all my choices here, I'm going to say display mode because each ME has six display modes that I can program to change the displays and how I'm seeing my sources. So I'm gonna go with display mode number one, and in this button, I'm gonna do display mode number four. Hit set. You can see on the pad now I have two other buttons, and they are action buttons, so it can change between the two, and I turn an action on and an action off. You can see what's happening to my cross point row. I'm going from sources, and then I'm splitting and seeing my sources on row three. But up on top, I'm seeing the macros that I have assigned to row two. So again, I can easily customize that ME and how I want to recall things and come back. Another thing for here, if we take one mode back, there's a couple different modes that I could run the cross point pad in. I'm in the key bus mode, meaning row one is a key bus mode. Row two is a key bus. I can run that in key aux delegate. What's that mean? Well, that means if I come to my pad that I'm in key delegate. Row one are now delegates. I can program what that is. Essentially, I have an aux panel right up on my cross point buttons. So I can choose to a delegate, which is an aux, and then row two routes it. Um, you can see row two turns to aux 12 because I've chosen aux 12 as my delegate. I can go to aux 13, aux 14, and route just that way. I can program that first row of delegates to be anything I want and customize it. I can do that by going to key aux delegate aux assign. Again, make sure I'm on the right ME. This is what's programmed into each one of my delegate rows on row one. And then I have a whole list of other customizable auxes and other functions that I might, I might need to route. Some of them are frame memories, uh, DME channels, uh, utility shop box modes. I have a lot of choices to customize my ME to do whatever I need it to do as an operator. And it can be customized per ME that way. Now that we've looked at two modes on our cross point pad, uh, key bus and aux delegate, let's talk about a third brand new mode, adds a little bit more power. For that, I'm gonna move up to ME3. Uh, and we have what we have a DV effect that we're going to run in here. If I were to uh, run this effect, I'm going to look at the cross point pad for ME3. It is in what we call free assign. Free assign mode allows me now to even change the AB bus into different modes and for routing. So in other words, right now I have the DME. I can actually come to my row one status, touch that, and say now I need that to... Uh, route DME external. Well, that's going to be one of the channels of the DME. So I can come here and I could change one of those channels. Okay. I could do that and just keep going. 
and do DME utility one, and then I'm changing another channel of, the, of that DME, okay? But that's a lot of button hits. I'm going back and forth. I'm gonna change key, this one back to key one and come back home. What I could do is key one, because that's where I assign the DMEs, is actually one of my sources. So I'm gonna leave row one as being able to route one of my sources. What I wanna do is spread out those DME externals and the DME utilities that are routing these other channels down to the other buses or banks of the switcher. So let's look at row two. If I were to go to row two, it jumps me to a page. I'm gonna make that DME external, okay? Come back. You can see now I've got key one, which routes one of those channels, DME external, which routes another one. And I'm actually gonna take the A bus and jump that to be DME utility one. And I'm gonna come back home and I'm gonna take the B bus and I'm gonna make that DME utility two. Now I have full power. I have four sources I'm looking at that are live on the on program and I can work my way up the key row buses and route those as I need to or I see fit. That's the free assign mode in the Crosspoint Pad, very powerful new feature on the ICPX 7000 panel.